Yep. All right, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Three Quick Questions with the NM. I'm EM, and today my guests are the Bar Wire Dolls. The first band from Greece to play right here on the Sunset Strip, and they've already outgrown it. They're going on tour. You might get your chance to see them, and I highly recommend you go out and see them. Now I'm here with Queen Isis, Pin Doll, and Crash Doll. And they're some of the greatest people you'll ever meet, some of the nicest people. And I cannot say enough about this band. I want to thank them first off for introducing me to other great bands that you have played with. So thank you very much for that. And the first question I have is, you guys are part of Rock for Unity. Can you uh, tell us a little about what Rock for Unity is? Rock for Unity is about bands collaborating together to uh, you know, audiences that normally don't get rocked. <laughs> and it's about unity and it's about, you know, just, just doing it for ourselves and it's so much fun when you can actually play with the band and with a group of people that share the same ideas and qualities that you do. It's pretty much this way. Most shows you go play, people come to see one band and they leave. It's the other band. Rock for Unity when they show together, all the bands promote all the bands in the world. They say go check them out, make sure you see this band too. They're not embarrassed and it's not a competition. And everybody ends up seeing all the bands and everyone supports each other. Ron will be screaming for us, we'll be screaming for them. And the slogan for Rock for Unity is in Unity there is power. In power there is change and change there is freedom. When you're in a band you want to fucking play. You need to have that unity. It's to make a scene, because it has to be a scene and a movement, otherwise it's just a band playing to get the fuck And now to change gears a little, I know you guys have a new CD coming out called The Masturbator. I love that. I love that title. And I love how you uh, how you described it. If you want to get your off off, you got to do it yourself. Perfect. Perfect. But besides that, can you tell us a little more about this song? Yeah, the album was recorded. Uh, we have we, all our albums are recorded live in one take. We just go in live and record live. And we don't want to track anything. We want to just be live so that when people hear the album, they kind of see what we are like live. And we're always better live than the album. It's something different. So. We got the name The Masturbator because we've been doing everything ourselves. We have no manager, agent, posting agent, nothing. We're doing everything ourselves. And everyone's saying, wow, you're doing all this stuff. That wasn't part of the book ethic. So we thought, what's, what, what is the best name for the album, The Masturbator? Because I mean, as soon as we did it, like the producers, you know, some people freaked out. Like, oh my god, you can't call it that. We're like, it's something that everybody has done. Everybody. And there's nothing more DIY. Nothing more DIY? <laughs> You heard it there, nothing more DIY than now. Nah. <laughs> can't lie to yourself. I like that. And the third question I have is, if people want to come and see you, people want to buy the album, where do they get the information? Where can they get a hold of you guys? B-A-R-B-Wiredolls.com And that goes straight to the Facebook. And you'll find everything there from videos to shows to the music to the pictures, everything. Yeah. Now you heard it there. Go to Barbwire Dolls, check them out. Once you check them out, they're going to be hooked. Guarantee it. And if, you don't, if you're not hooked, I'll give you your money back. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So that is a guarantee. She's already hooked. This yeah. girl here, I just saw for the first time. Today. <laughs> and you can already see the reaction that she has yeah. on the first time. So she didn't even this, drink. She just saw it. She's drunk. She's like, it. So just think if she was drinking, if she was drinking and this was her second time, I don't know. <laughs> but I want to thank my guest, the Bar Buyer Dolls. They're going on tour. We're missing our bass player. He's, he went home. Yeah, where's your, what's your bass player? He uh, picks up sluts all the time. Oh, okay, that's good. The bass player's missing, but we have the beautiful I'm not part of this Tony <laughs> She is their new basis. <laughs> so once again the new punk revolution has arrived. Yeah. What the hell are you gonna do? Rock right and rip it up. <laughs> this is
this the street generation? These are the street generation right here. And if you do come to a Barb Ryer doll show right here, you get to meet girls like this. So once again, come in, meet, come and see the Barb Ryer dolls. Once again, this has been Three Quick Questions with D&M. And I'm here with, with Queen Isis and Pindall. Somewhere back there is Crash, and I want to thank him very much. Thank you for watching, and tune in for the next episode of Three Quick Questions with e &M. Support your local scene. If you do not have a local scene, go out and make one. Enjoy the bands that you, you watch, and thank you once again. Thank you so much to my uh, great guest here. The sexy assistant. <laughs> Ben Isis, the sexy assistant, right here. Crash, Look at and that. everyone here on the Sunshine Strip, thank you so much, and we're out.